Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm your host, Barbara, for this episode of Morning Coffee and Crochet. And today, um, we're changing it up a little bit. I'm inside. Um, I have a new light, so I'm trying it out. First time, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it converts over to YouTube and see if it makes me look like I'm in a dark dungeon. I don't know. I was really enjoying the back porch, but unfortunately, I... Um, I have lately been getting out there so late in the day that it is so hot and, you know, 12 billion degrees out there and I start melting before I even say hello to you. And um, I've also been dealing with migraines, so I still have one right now. And um, it's, uh, anyway, it may even just be a tension headache, I don't know. But um, but I am a little sensitive to light. So this is going to be a quick, um, quick little video. I promised you yesterday that I would um, share with you some of the yarn that I got from Hobby Lobby. Hobby was so sweet and I told him my vision of just having a beautiful yarn wall. Um, and yes, I do have a beautiful yarn wall, but it, it is so eclectic. Um, and it's so mixed up and it's just really weird. <laughs> like I don't have, you know, like one kind of yarn in like blues and greens and yellows and oranges and purples and pinks. And, and I don't have that beauty going that some people have. And, and um, yes, I got a little yarn envy going. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, you know. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, but I do yarn. <laughs> so maybe it's okay if, you know, every payday I buy several skeins of yarn in, you know, in some colors, but buy it in the same uh, brand so that I can start creating a rainbow of color on my wall. And um, so I mentioned this to hubby and he said, oh, you mean like Krista or like Bag -a Day and, and like Creative Grandma? And I'm like, yeah, just like them. And he's like, I think that's a great idea. And so, you know, <laughs> when hubby says he agrees with you and it's a great idea, you just jump on it, right, sisters and brothers? Because I know there's some guys out there that are crocheting and, uh, you know, I love it. I love it. Um, one of my favorite crocheters to watch is Mikey from uh, the Crochet Crowd. And um, so, yeah, I love, I love it. And I'm sorry if my eyes are going weird, but like I'm looking at myself here, but the camera's right there. <laughs> I'm having to get used to it a little bit. So, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'm just a yarnaholic. Um, looking for some fun, <laughs> some yarn fun. So I'm gonna show you. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, some Hobby Lobby fun. And I showed you a little bit yesterday my faceted beads. Yeah, got those. Those were a necessity. And um, in, a, in a couple days, I'll, I'll get that going. <sighs> Not going to lie. Um, you know, I, June has been just a horrible month for me to crochet. And quite honestly, yesterday was the first day that I, um, that I crocheted. So the month is almost over in my eyes, you know, we're pretty close. Um, it's over half over anyway, over halfway over. And um, so, you know, I, I just, there's just so much going on and I just, it just took everything I could just to even pick up a hook um, when I started crocheting yesterday and like I was crocheting and, like that, just a yawn would come over me and I would just crochet so slow. And while my heart was wanting to complete this project, and still does, my, um, my arms were not cooperating. So I'm working to get my mojo back and I gave myself a break. Um, um, my crojo has kind of disappeared, but I am getting prepared for the new um, 
crochet along from Crochet Crowd, Mikey and Jeannie, um, did a toss toss and they came up with Better Together Afghan. And it is so pretty, so pretty. And you have to sign up for it. They, um, they send you an email once a week with the updates and then I think they're gonna like throw out the, um, the tutorial. Um, but you, ha I think they said you have to sign up for it. So I signed up for it and I'm on the list. So I'm going to get the instructions and everything. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. If it's going to be, um, you know, a tutorial that they only send out or if they're going to actually put it on YouTube. So it's a mystery right now. It starts July 14th, I think, July 14th. Um, but I picked out my colors. And so for this, Better Together Afghan. Um, and when I said that they did a toss toss, what would happen is Mikey would work on on the, um, the blanket, the Afghan, and then he would send it to Jeannie and then she would pick it up and she would add her stitches on it. And then she would send it back to Mikey and they, as they were toss tossing this Afghan back and forth, they were also testing the pattern to make sure that the, you know, the other, they were testing each other's pattern basically, which is important when you're creating a pattern because it's so easy to make a mistake in writing the pattern and then like confuse the heck out of everybody. And they know that. And, um, and actually that's what designers do is they always have someone test their pattern. They usually have, you know, even more than one person test their pattern just to be on the safe side, which makes sense, you know, um, especially if you're going to, um, sell your pattern. But of course, you know, Mikey at Crochet Crowd, his patterns are all free and we love him for that. Oh my gosh. Um, just love that guy so much. Um, so anyway, I picked out my four colors. So it was four colors and he said two skeins of each color would make the blanket. So are you ready to see my colors? So it was really hard for me to decide because to be honest with you, um, we went to Hobby Lobby and there was nobody there. It was like right before closing. It was like eight or 7.20 and they closed at eight o'clock at night. Um, it was on a Friday night and Hobby said, you know, let's go, let's go to Hobby Lobby right now. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm game. So this is what I've got. I'm going to show you. And part of my decision with the yarn wall was I love the brand Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I love it. I, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing out of, you know, the ordinary with it. There's nothing. It's just soft. It's pliable. It works up nice. It's a really nice size for weight. Um, everything that I've ever made with it, I've enjoyed. I've thoroughly enjoyed. I've never, you know, once thought, um, you know, oh, this yarn is too rough or I don't like how this is working up or the yarn is splitting. Nothing. None of that. Okay. So I do love this yarn. Um, yarn B, um, some of it I find a little too slippery. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just not into slippery yarn. I'm just not. Um, I have some. I have some Lion Brand um, really beautiful yarn and I made a scarf with it, but you know, it was really slippery and I was really glad when I was done. Um, it did make a beautiful scarf though. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not mad about that. It made a beautiful scarf, but if I was going to have a rainbow of colors on my wall, I needed to find a brand that first of all was semi-local. It's 30 miles away. Okay. So you do have to make a decision to go there and you know and they are closed on sundays so you do have to make an effort um you know saturdays are usually designated not for you know fun <laughs> they're usually designated for you know cleaning the house or working in the yard or getting groceries or running errands for others and and um so anyway um, you know, by the time the weekend's over, you're like, oh, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> so not mad at you, Hobby Lobby. I'm just like, it's just like Chick-fil-A, you know, uh, whenever we travel, it's on a Sunday and I pull into Chick-fil-A and I wait <laughs> and I'm like, dang it, it's Sunday. <laughs> no wonder nobody's saying, how may I help you? <laughs> yeah, it happens. Don't you tell me that it doesn't happen to you too, because I know it does. <laughs> so 
my idea for this better together afghan was to do kind of um um like a flowery feel like a um just a a beautiful you know spring summer flower like uh you know a pink rose and some green so i love pink and green together and um and i've done several blues um lately and purples and and whatnot but i just love that pink and green together i really do so this is what i chose so i did choose a bright pink um, and this one is in color number 100 pink <laughs> that's easy right and i made sure to get um dye lots and i haven't done dye lots in forever i just i just don't usually pay attention to it but this time i did and um so hubby was there and he helped me pick out the colors and you know the first ones that i picked out because i'm not always good with colors i sometimes will put colors together that uh, you know don't really match so the first theme that I came up with he was like oh yeah that's pretty and I knew it was like not totally floating his boat but he didn't want to tell me that um you know he didn't like it because obviously it's my project and he doesn't want to discourage me which is very kind of him and I appreciate that but I did have him there for um color <laughs> color expertise um, so anyway, so I have two skeins of the pink and, um, it wasn't on sale. You know what? I don't even care. It wasn't on sale. I got one of them at 40% off. So there you go. The other color is the green. And, um, so I ended up choosing, this is called ocean. And, um, so I ended up choosing ocean and let me put this up there close and I'll put a pink next to it so that you can see see them together yeah so I think that they go really nicely together and um, so that's pink and ocean um, nice and soft yarn this um, you know it's a four weight yarn uh, seven ounces 355 yards 100% acrylic um, the nice thing is that you can wash it and dry it you know you don't want to iron it obviously um, but you know you can wash it and dry it so I like that because if I'm making a blanket and I give it as a gift I want you know, I want people to be able to, um, to wash it if they need to. So the next color that I chose, and I ended up actually getting three skeins of these because they were five ounces each and, um, 252 yards, but I got one, I didn't get a solid and I am not sorry about it. I got this and let's see. If you can see can you see so it has it's called raspberry and it is a nice soft white crushed raspberry that's what it is crushed raspberry so it's a nice soft white and then it has raspberry dots some of them lighter than others some of them are nice and pronounced and then it has little gray kind of dots on it so let me put this back up here so you can see yeah so I got three of these because I wanted to make sure that I had enough and you know anytime you get yarn that has any kind of design on it or variegated or whatever they always give you less so not mad at you Hobby Lobby I knew it was coming and um so there's that so I got three just to make sure that I had enough and I'm really excited about this because um you know it'll just be a nice a nice contrast with the three of them let me see if I can do this I don't know if I can do this or not let's see
No, not quite. There we go. So I think that that'll be enough of, you know, an interest. It's not just having plain white. Um, so that's my third color. And then my fourth color, I actually went with a very neutral gray. So my thought was to pull out a little bit of the gray out of this and then also be another neutral for, for these so that those two colors could really shine, um, you know, the pink and the green. So anyway, that's my color scheme. I, um, I don't know, I might regret it um, with the crushed raspberry, but I sure hope I don't. And, um, you know, if I do, well, there's always another Af Afghan, there's always another blanket, there's always another project, um, and I'm sure that somebody will love it. So while I was looking at the yarn and everything, I know that there's one color that I just really don't have a lot of, and actually I'm looking at my shelf right now and I have none. I have a coral, but I don't have a true what I would consider peach. And um, you know, peach was really popular color back in the 80s. I don't know, for those of you old enough to remember, peach and blue was very popular. Um, and this one is just called uh, color number 230, light peach. Um, in the Hobby Lobby, um, this, uh, Hobby Lobby stores, um, this yarn was made in Turkey, which I like. Um, I don't know. I'm, I want all my yarn to be made in Turkey or made in the USA. Um, I don't want it made anywhere else. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, I've seen some yarn from France. Um, but you know, I think that that's mostly, the yarn that I saw from France was actually more eclectic. It was more, um, um, you know, fine wool and whatnot. So, I mean, obviously I'm going for the acrylic right now. Um, and I'm fine with that. I like acrylic and I like 100% cotton. And um, so I haven't gone with the cotton blend yet. Uh, maybe I'll try that in the future. But right now, um, that's the colors for my toss toss for my better together afghan that starts in july so i've got that ready the only thing i have to do right now is um for the for the future is to get a proper bag for it so that i can keep all the yarn together and um and have it all together so that um when they do send portions of the um instructions that i can print them out and tuck them in that bag um, or tote so that I can have it all together. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't even know what size hook they're uh, requiring yet. So, um, but I will make sure that I have that hook in there so that I don't forget if I, you know, uh, so that when I come back, everything is right there. That's, that's what's important to me when I have a project going like this um, is to have in whatever tote or bag or container to have everything that I need to just sit down and pick that project back up because that's the only way I'm going to get my whips done because, um, you know, I, I have a hard time keeping track of my day-to-day -day life, much less what I, what whip I started, you know, a month ago. And now do I remember the hook? No. Do I remember where I was? Not really, you know, so it's important for me to be organized that way in order to um, not just say, you know, whatever and, uh, you know, frog all my work and just never complete it. So because that's that's where I might be um, in my level of frustration if I couldn't figure it out where I was. Um, so anyway, I'm real excited and I did end up getting two of these because you can never just get one. Um, you really can't. I mean, come on. <laughs> you got to get it. You got to get a sister for it. Um, so this one, let's see, what did I say? It was 355 yards. So that's, you know, that's 700 yards right there. Surely I can find a pattern 
and maybe find even something else to go with it um, and you know and make a make a blanket or get some kind of contrasting color I do have other uh, what got me thinking about Hobby Lobby yarn was that um, I had some extra yarn that I had purchased for the um, mandala and um, I already had two mandalas started. I had a, a, a blue theme mandala, which I showed you, and I have the green theme mandala, which I showed you, and I love both of those. But in my haste and my um, enthusiasm, I had bought uh, yarn for a pink themed and a purple themed. And I have that over there. And of course they include greens because I do like, I do like having that little splash of a light green with um, you know, with a, a, a pink or a lavender, I just think it, it evokes, you know, a garden or a field of flowers. And I really like that. It just makes me happy. So, um, so I do have some more yarn over there and I was looking at my shelf, my one little shelf that has Hobby Lobby yarn and all the pretty colors that I had picked out. And I thought, oh, you know, I just want, I want my whole room to be that pretty, you know, Glenda from um, Creative Grandma, all of the squares in her on her wall are one color and um, one type of yarn. So that's my goal. It's a lofty goal and it's a yarn, <laughs> a yarny goal, but um, you know, it's okay. And um, the more colors that I have, the more um, options that I have, and hopefully it'll just keep me going. Um, and I was really excited about this one because I've never gotten uh, this one with the little dots before. And so I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to come out. Because see back here, it kind of looks white. And then the closer you get, you can see the colors just coming out. So we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow if I post something tomorrow, you know with my migraines and everything, please forgive me if I don't show up on a day. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know how to um, notify people through YouTube. I know that uh, some of the YouTubers um, will put notifications out there, you know, hey, not going to be here today. You know, everything's fine, but, you know, power went out or whatever. Um, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I'm still kind of new. And I forgot to tell you. Okay, tomorrow. Uh, next time. We're going to have a little celebration and I've got to do some more shout outs. Oh yeah, got some more shout outs for people. So I'm going to do that next, next time. I'm not going to waste your time today. Not that it's a waste of time because it's not, but it deserves to be front and center. And this is just going to be an add on. And I, if I say it right now and I don't want to do that. So, okay guys, stay safe, be kind and get hooking. <laughs>